Unmistakable tuba notes accompanied by the trill of a mandolin introduce HBO's long-running hit show, Curb Your Enthusiasm, in the most apropos theme song ever composed. The half-hour comedy by Seinfeld co-creator Larry David also features David as its star, inviting reoccurring guest stars like Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Bob Einstein, Ted Danson, Mary Steenburgen, Wanda Sykes, and Richard Lewis. The show wouldn't be a hit without cast regulars Jeff Garland, Susie Essman, Cheryl Hines, and J.B. Smoove, providing scores of laughs on and off for the past 24 years. David, playing his alter ego in the show, is a master of social offense and a repeat perpetrator of deeds devoid of decorum. Audiences enviably wish to air grievances as Larry does, with abandon. The show has earned 51 Primetime Emmy Award nominations in the series' history, picking up several wins. An incredible guest star roster, ranging from sports and political figures to A-list Hollywood stars, have appeared each season, eager to participate in one of the funniest shows ever broadcast. Here are a few examples of series staples and a crowded compilation of the most irreverent, hysterical episodes. I in the season 9 opener, a door-holding debate concerning a masculine-presenting lesbian, Julie Goldman, results in ripples of recourse throughout the episode. Amid that storyline, Larry and Jeff Garland celebrate the completion of Larry's long-awaited musical, Fatwa. Leon Smoove introduces Larry to a new slang word, lampin, and the pair scheme to foist Larry's ineffective assistant Mara, Carrie Brownstein, onto Susie, Esman, after the assistant was foisted onto Larry by Jimmy Kimmel. Larry goes on Jimmy Kimmel Live to promote Fatwa, but offends the Ayatollah of Iran. After a six-year hiatus, the show is as funny as ever, with guest stars who made it worth the wait. The Black Swan opens with Larry, his father, Shelley Berman, and cousin Andy or Richard Kind, paying their respects at Larry's mother's grave, where the headstone reads, Adele David, passed away. Larry is disgusted by his father's frugality, saving $150 by misspelling the word on purpose, and contacts a stonemason to rectify the situation. Meanwhile, Larry and friends Jeff, Funkhauser, Bob Einstein, and cousin Andy dine at the country club before a round of golf. The arrival of the notoriously slow golfer, Norm, incites a panic at Larry's table. On the golf course, Larry yells at Norm to hurry up, later learning Norm has sustained a fatal heart attack. The following afternoon, Larry takes a swing at club owner Takahashi's, Dana Lee, beloved black swan, killing it in self-defense. Larry is accused of two counts of murder. Cheryl, Hines, and Larry order a car service to take them to Ted Danson's birthday party, driven by Charlie, Toby Huss the limo driver. Larry is excited about giving Ted his gift, a coffee table book called Mondo Freaks. Upon delivery, Larry is concerned about Charlie having to sit and do nothing for three hours and asks an annoyed Ted if Charlie could wait in the house, and Ted reluctantly agrees. Ted opens Larry's gift, unimpressed and confused. Larry then takes the book to show Jeff, and the two fools laugh uproariously at the freaks, disrupting Ted's party until Charlie comes in, upping the ante. Fully inebriated, Charlie tells Ted, happy birthday, Becker, breaks a vase and gropes Ted's wife, Mary, resulting in Larry, Cheryl, and Charlie's ejection. Larry then helps Charlie by driving the limo and escorting a vital client, John McEnroe, to whom Larry offers the freak book. Larry meets Leon, and Ted Danson is anonymous in this celebrated episode featuring unwritten rules of dry cleaning. A repulsed Cheryl approaches Larry to inquire about a mysterious stain on a blanket in a guest room, and Larry riotously questions Leon. This is followed by a trip to the dry cleaners, where Larry learns his Joe Pepitone jersey has been lost, and Leon offers to help Larry recover it. Larry and Cheryl attend an event unveiling the new wings of a museum, one financially sponsored by Larry David and the other by Anonymous. Larry quickly learns that Danson is anonymous because he's told everyone, angering Larry, who declares this an act of fake philanthropy and faux anonymity. After a season-long build-up to the opening of Larry and Jeff's restaurant investment, the season three finale begins with the grand opening of Bobos. In an episode with nonstop laughs, Larry fires their bald chef after discovering he lied about a toupee, Cheryl gets an unorthodox bath, and Larry plays dodgeball. A notoriously harsh food critic, Paul Wilson, sustains a bilateral thumb injury during an innocent schoolyard game after Larry pelts him with the ball. Without using his thumbs to perform his trademark thumbs up or down, the critic cannot review the restaurant on opening night. The restaurant needs a chef, so the vindictive critic recommends someone with Tourette's syndrome, 
Unbeknownst to Larry and the investors, Larry is fed up with getting Happy New Year. Weeks after the fact and decides to correct anyone foolish enough to congratulate him. The episode tackles the hashtag MeToo movement, MAGA hats, and the enforcement of rules for mothers during pregnancy. Additionally, Larry and Leon are banned from Mocha Joe's, prompting the beginning of a spite store. Jeff is mistaken for Harvey Weinstein, and Larry inadvertently assaults two women. The season 10 opener is more like Larry Unleashed as he strides down the city streets, snapping selfie sticks in half, toppling scooter rentals, and returning Happy New Year's sentiments like swear words. Larry is a walking contradiction in this gem of an episode nestled in the bosom of season 4. To evade jury duty, Larry pretends to be racist, then scores marijuana on a street corner for his father's glaucoma. Rather than allow Larry to accompany him to the Dodgers game utilizing his dead father's season ticket seat, Funkhauser reserves it for his father's ghost. Flying solo, Larry scrambles to make it to the game and finds a fast-track carpool lane opportunity when he drives by sex worker Menina, Kim Whitley. Funkhauser gets arrested for possession. Larry is denied access to a conservative country club, and the ever-resourceful Menina saves the day again with her stash of schwag. While seated at a restaurant wearing a baseball cap, Larry meets a quick-witted woman, Anita Barone, with similar interests, only to discover she is in a wheelchair after they've made a date. Unsure of how to proceed, Larry shows up for their date sans hat, and the woman, Denise, is bewildered to discover he is bald. After the date proved too tricky for Larry, he carried Denise up a flight of stairs because the chosen restaurant wasn't wheelchair accessible. He planned to end it with Denise. However, something magical happened when people began to look at Larry anew, reevaluating his character as he wheeled Denise around town. He continued to date her, obviously.